Hi guys, I'm Hafiz and thanks for tuning in FYG which is for your guidance of fix your game. So today we'll be fixing Ignition. That's right, the 1997 top-down racing video game. So first of all, you need the ISO mounted with an alcohol or a CD-ROM. Best to mount it on a D drive because when you play it, um, then the music will play. If you have E or F drive, the music won't play. Alright, so browse your CD content after you mount it or insert the CD-ROM and look for the file name setup. Double click on the setup and basically you will be prompt to launch, sorry, to install the game. So just click on next on the default directory which is um, C games. You know, you can choose whatever directory you want. So after the installation, um, it's pretty simple. Just need to click on the link below to download the fixed file or the second link which is to download the end glide. Alright, if you don't have an end glide installed, please install it. Um, you can click on the second link below. So basically when you click on the link it's gonna link link to my onedrive and you look for the ignition fix and also the end glide current version is 1.03 as of 16 of november 2014 so after you have downloaded the two files um, to install end glide which is pretty straightforward just extract the setup file outside all right to your desktop or wherever and then just uh double click on it and click on install and it will install now if you're using Windows 8.1 like me and if you're unable to find the end glide file uh, you go to your C drive Windows okay double click on your Windows and then look for syswow64 that's right syswow64 and in there just search for ng or end glide and you will see the end glide config now I recommend um, to do an expect ratio of 4 to 3 and use your desktop native resolution which is minus 1080 all right um, click on apply now the file is in syswow64 okay so if you wanted to pin it to your start or add it to your desktop go ahead by all mean all right so after you have installed nglide which is a 3d fx wrapper if you don't know um, next up you're gonna extract the files in the ignition fix folder Alright, there are four files including the README. So extract it to where you install your ignition game, which is right now um, in me, it's like games and ignition. So just extract the files out and replace, sorry about that, and replace all the files in there. Uh, actually, you don't have to replace any files, so sorry about that. Alright, so from there on, you're going to launch the game with IGN 3 dfx alright, which is I'm going to do so right now. So you will see the 3 dfx logo, and then you can select your language, the video will play, alright, just escape that. Um, you can simply just start a race and try it to see if it works, alright. So again, um, I'm playing in a 3 dfx mode. Uh, the normal executable file, it's not gonna work on Windows Vista even. And I can say that this is actually the best way to play Ignition because at the moment I have a, a Windows 98 computer and with an old graphic card and the game eventually crash. So yeah. So as you can see with the 3D effects, the rain still drops, especially on this level, right? Uh, where the lightnings because I believe some patches out there actually remove the rain and the lightning effects so here you are you have the full version with the music on as long as you have your CD-ROM mounted sorry CD-ROM um, pointed to D drive or your ISO mounted on a D drive and you, you will have the music alright so basically it's just copy and paste and just launch from the LG and 3 dfx so that's it guys thank you for checking out FYG I'm Hafiz signing off from YouTube